As you know, last year, we introduced iPhone 4. And it's a breakthrough phone. And despite competitors trying really hard to copy it, they really haven't come to close to anything nearly as good. It's got that beautiful retina display, glass front, all glass back, the revolutionary stainless steel bands that create the antenna system and make it the thinnest smartphone. And as you've heard, it's the number one smartphone in the world and number one in customer satisfaction. So people have been wondering, how do you follow up a hit product like the iPhone 4? Well, I'm really pleased to tell you today all about the brand new iPhone 4S. <laughs> of course it starts with the retina display. Of course it's glass in the front and back and has that incredible stainless steel band around it making it the thinnest smartphone. But don't be deceived because inside it is all new. So how is it different? First, it has a new chip inside. The A5 chip that we've launched just this year in the iPad 2 is now making its way into the iPhone. This is an Apple design chip that's remarkable. It's a dual core processor. It delivers performance that's up to twice as fast at CPU tasks. It's also dual core graphics, which means the graphics can be up to seven times faster than they were in the previous iPhone. This is going to help across all the kinds of applications you might use. But one area that we really see at Scream is on games. What developers can do with gameplay on a phone will be remarkable. The camera system. You've heard and you all know firsthand just how great the pictures you can take with an iPhone are. And customers love using it because they're beautiful and they have it with them all the time. But it doesn't stop with the camera because we use some really smart algorithms inside the iPhone 4S. We use that A5 chip to do some incredible stuff. For example, oh, I'm, I, and I left off one important thing. So I, there's one part of the A5 we haven't told you about. Inside the A5 is an Apple design image signal processor too. It's really powerful for doing things like advanced face detection algorithms. So not only can the iPhone 4S tell if you're trying to take a portrait shot and there's a person in it, it can tell if there's up to 10 people in it and get the best auto exposure across all their faces. And it does an amazing job with white balance. The auto white balance is even better in the iPhone 4, which was already state of the art. And that chip is really fast. It can take super fast photos. Next, video recording. Use that same camera system and all the things we've just talked about to take stunning HD video. And for the first time, it is now 1080p HD video. Just the resolution you want. <laughs> and we use that powerful image signal processor inside the A5 chip to do some incredible things, like real-time video image stabilization. As you know, as you make a video camera smaller and smaller, it gets harder to hold it really still. So this helps remove a lot of that shakiness you could get. And we try to improve the video quality in real time by doing temporal noise reduction, especially helps in low light scenarios. I'm really excited to show you Siri. You can get to Siri uh, at any time just by holding down the home button for a couple seconds. And then Siri's listening to you. So let's go ahead and ask Siri about the weather. What is the weather like today? Here's the forecast for today. It is that easy. <laughs> Not only did it understand the words I said, it understands the meaning and the goes and gives me this weather forecast. But the exact words I say aren't important. It's the meaning behind the words. So I could ask this in a completely different way. Something like, what is the hourly forecast? Here's the weather for today. Again, different words, Siri figures out the meaning. In fact, you can even ask more conceptual questions. Things like, do I need a raincoat today? It sure looks like rain today. 